has a little doubt. Huh? The gears that we're talking about today are hmm. they also used in transmissions like cycle transmissions uh, or uh, car transmissions or? We will go step by step. Okay, first let's understand. So they're using clock towers, right? I had shared uh, this link. Okay. Did anybody look at the link? Yes, sir. Yeah, Nisha, what did you understand? I just, un I didn't really understand much, except I understood why we need gears. Yeah, let's uh, look at first uh, these round things. Don't worry about this, uh, the one with tooth. Let's look at this circular thing. Okay. So this circular thing is just two wheels, right? Anyway, all of us know what is a wheel, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So these two things, if yes. you're touching each other, so it will, for example, if, if you turn this blue ring or blue disc, the red disc also will turn if they are touching each other, right? What, Anisha? Yes, sir. So, what, can you give me an example of two circular things which you can see at, at, at home? Um, a ping pong ball and a basketball. Yeah, are even two coins, right? Yes, sir. They are circular. I just picked up two things uh, which is around me. Uh, let me just show you what it is. Let me go back to my camera. Yeah. Sir, I have a spiked ball which represents a gear. It's kind of like so that. I had two circular things here. Okay. They happen to be of the same uh, size because almost. Right. So if I turn this, it will turn depending on if how it's, if it is very nice and smooth, it, it may not turn. Okay. Or let me take another one. Okay. Now, the problem with this is if I hold one of this a bit tight, the, if I turn, it will just start slipping. You understood? Sir. Yes, sir. So that means it, it, there, if, if I don't have the teeth here, then it, it, sometimes it will turn the other, other uh, disc, sometimes it will not, depending on which is harder. Whereas, imagine if I have teeth on both, like the example of the first one. Then, whether you hold it tight or not, it will attempt to turn it until it breaks, one of them until it breaks. If you turn it so hard, the teeth should break or the gear should break. One of them will happen. Assuming both are strong, that means it will ensure it will turn. Okay, this answers the question power transmission. Tanuj, Kesho. Okay. Sir, I had a, a perfect example of spike one. Like it's turning very smoothly. Which I one? have this ring. This. Yeah, uh, we will come to that. First, uh, let's understand using the link which we had uh, shared. What is this? Uh, another thing in the middle? Can anybody tell me? There is a steel thing. Sir, I think that's a mixer. Has anybody else? Yes, it's a mixer. Anybody else has seen this? Yes, sir. Yeah, Anisha, what, what is this used for? It's used for mixing stuff. It's yeah. used for mixing a batter. Let's say you're making a cake. Yeah. So it's used for mixing batter. Like in the early days, what they used to do, they used to hold it and they used to pedal it. And what used to happen was the uh, the small blades, sorry, the small things attached to the bottom, I don't know what they're called, but they're attached to the bottom, they start spinning. Yeah, yeah. Kavya, you tira. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay.
so for others who don't know kannada this we use normally to basically <coughs> beat the buttermilk to get butter out of the buttermilk so it's basically used to uh, churn milk i churn butter churn buttermilk so it gives us nice butter so where yeah, are the gears nice butter where are the gears here so the gears are inside where the paddle is so gears are inside that yeah yeah there is one big gear so near the paddle uh, are it behind that metal disc yes yes there are two gears one is the you can see at the bottom let me see if i can zoom it yes i can zoom it so this one with red circle that is a smaller gear the one with blue circle is the bigger gear okay so since it's not important for the gear to have teeth it's important to have the gear no if you don't have teeth it will not become gear it will become a disc so if so, you want to call a disc as a gear it should have teeth sir but this one uh, sir i can't see the teeth in the bigger one no sir, are those small no. lines the teeth uh, those lines are nothing but the teeth the, you are seeing some oh. serrated the they serrated now, they're not growing outward now that's why i was getting confused oh, yeah it is bulging outside that's a gap and i'm not sure how many of you have seen uh, the machinery of the clock inside sir i have seen a clock tower from the inside no 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 see the alarm clock at home no if you just open the back cover you can see a lot of gears inside sir i never got it turned otherwise how will these uh, needles turn sir it's all with the gear and here it's all the more important that it, it turns by exact amount it cannot sometimes it cannot slip right for example if you have a disc like this sometimes it will slip here in this case it has to be so accurate that you cannot afford it to slip even once otherwise it will go faster or slower right yes sir so this is one very classic implementation why do you think so it should be exact one second why do you think swiss watch is so popular So because it has okay, it has very small gears. No, the uh, their gears are very accurate and they they do it in a very ah. precision, with a lot of precision. Okay. Sir, so the smaller the uh, sir, is it like the smaller the surface area, smaller the uh, gears are, the more accurate the time will be. now it is to do with the uh, machining anyway we'll come to that later okay let's now in 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 the cycle all of you would have seen cycle right yes sir yes sir i have a cycle but it's not a gear cycle even if it is a gear cycle the gears are not um, meshing like the one which you saw above the gears are not engaged like this the the top so even a gearless cycle has a small gear at the end it's not it's not called uh, it's it's it, it comes with some other name it's called ratchet mm -hmm. so no my point here is here unlike the, the gears here uh, below the, the here they are touching each other right yes sir whereas sure. in like in cycle they are not touching each other in cycle it is the chain which connects and drives from one so gear so it's the chain which is touching the gears yes yes again it chain okay. helps us to transmit the power sir and that's what causes the uh, uh, that's what causes the gear to spin and uh, then the wheel spins if i'm yeah. correct yeah now uh, one quiz one question for all of you assume this smaller gear has got 20 teeth and bigger gear has 40 teeth if bigger gear turns once how many times the blue smaller gear will turn so two times turn. don't don't talk you just put it in the chat window 
can all of you put in the chat window twice both are, yeah both are you both of you are correct now we will do the reverse we will turn blue one one round how many the round uh, the red one will turn we are now doing the reverse we are turning the blue one half yes anisha you're right but why do we have the smaller gear and bigger gear anisha can you tell me why should we if it is it, actually if you are turning the blue actually you are reducing the number of rotations there the red will turn half what is the advantage or is it a disadvantage sir i don't really know renu can you guess what's the advantage of gears why should we have the smaller gear and bigger gear Anuj is telling it, it's accurate. That's one. If you use it in the case of a watch, etc., yes, you are right. But at home, why do we even in let's look at the same uh, buttermilk beater or whatever, or the one which we churn the buttermilk? Here, if you look at what we're turning, is a bigger gear, gear. In turn, it is turning a smaller gear. That means. If you run once, if you look at it's so big, probably if you turn it once, looks like it will turn it some four or five times. It is so big. So that uh, Tanuj, can you guess what is the advantage here? So that it turns uh, better. Yeah, turns it, turns better. Turns faster. it turns faster. Here, it, it, uh, since Butter so it turns not... faster, so it uh, takes less time to uh, churn the butter. Ah, very good. Less time and less so effort. It saves time. Saves time and effort. You will not get tired. Right? Imagine if you have to turn this 2,000 times. If you turn this uh, paddle also 2,000 times, you will get tired. No, Your hands will start paining, aching. Yes, yes, sir. So that's the advantage. Here, one is to save the effort to save or to increase the speed you got the advantage so saves time and effort and also sir if it uh, spins faster then we'll be able to turn more uh, turn more butter in less time let's say if the gear moves slowly then we'll turn let's say 10 grams of butter in an hour but if it turns faster we can turn 20 grams or 30 grams in just an hour yeah so you learned how to make a butter today, right? <laughs> you can make 30 grams of butter. No, okay. Yeah, it's now let's look at, uh, yeah, now the other way. Anyway, the students who are in middle school, when you come to high school, you will learn power, what is called a liver. Okay. Who, who uh, first made it, uh, uh, gave a name called liver? He made a very powerful statement. Let me see. Those who have uh, so Google who invented. Can you identified, uh, can you tell me who invented liver? Sir, uh, Sarah Nam, uh, Randall Truong, and Nate Smith. Liver, liver. Okay. Give me a liver long enough and fulcrum on which to place, and I shall move the world. Who said this? Roman anatomy. Vishal, Google is telling me something different. Let me. Sir see. Archimedes. Yeah, you're right. Let me get that. So it's on Wikipedia. The earliest remaining writings, uh, earliest remaining writings regarding levers 
date from the third century BC and was provided by the Greek mathematician Archimedes. Famously stated, "Give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place Anuj, it." Anuj, I shared it on the screen. Anuj, you have to uh, let others also read it. Okay, Anuj, you have to be. Please be quiet for some time. Others, so that I want others also to speak. Okay, it is Archimedes who made this lever uh, uh, as per the our uh, knowledge. Okay, now the same principle is used in gears. The advantage is using gears, we can amplify the power. Okay. Sorry, sir, I got disconnected. Okay. No yeah, Tanuj, you have to be quiet for some time. I, I want to engage with others. Okay, Tanuj, that's okay. Thank you. So now, yeah, using the similar principle of liver, now we can amplify the power. The same thing happens uh, in, uh, in gears. When we are going, why do we go on first gear when it is uh, inclination is up? Anybody other than Tanuj? What is the advantage of shifting to first gear, whether it's a bike or whether it is a car? Any any ideas? Any suggestions? Ganesh, any? You can guess. You can make a guess. Why do we shift to first gear when we have when you are starting? Tanuj, I know you know. Uh, the answer i want others also to answer sir yeah is it to increase the speed first gear will, will not increase speed first gear will be slow no only when you are in fourth gear or fifth gear it will be a you know, higher speed so is it used to increase the rpm yes it, it, it's used that is what i exactly wrote so it uh, does not increase the rpm it increases that uh, don't worry about the word which i'm using torque okay it, it uh, actually so it increases the torque torque is the uh, pushing power the uh, which uh, drives the car forward yeah yeah Tanuj, you have to keep uh, silent for a while let me do the explanation okay ganesh uh, did you understood yeah sir okay so when you go to Hi, Chirantan. Good morning. Chirantan, are you able to hear me? Okay. So, in uh, similarly, second, third gear will uh, gradually increase the speed of the vehicle. But the RPM of engine is uh, higher at lower gear because you are also giving more accelerator. You are giving more power in higher higher speed actually even though speed is higher your effort is low don't worry again you will understand there are a lot of things in motion then you have to also get study about momentum what happens okay once you pick up the speed what happens you, you need lesser effort to maintain the speed than when at, at the starting so you will need higher torque at the at the beginning Okay. Chirantan, are you able to hear me? Chirantan, we are discussing your favorite topic, gears. Are you able to unmute? So it was Chirantan who asked the question. That's why it, it, I started with gears. Okay. So let's start see anything else is interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, other varieties. I want you to go through. Uh, if you ask any question, I, I will answer. Otherwise, no point making this as a mechanical engineering session. Okay. This is a very interesting one, worm gear. In worm gear, you can see there's a worm. There's a screw kind of thing on the right side. 
actually this is what is used uh, even in watches and this gives highest torque this is also used in pulleys okay so this is this uh, with very little effort even any of us for example any of you can also lift 100 kg or 200 kg because here the you, you have, the worm is so small that means it needs only when it is rotates fully it this uh, the, the this bigger gear will rotate by one tooth okay so that gets amplified by so much then rack and pinion again this is used in uh, anyway you will understand what excuse uh, me what, sir yeah what's the meaning of pinion able to hear yeah chirantan we can hear you now pinion is uh, here there are two parts right one is a gear and one is a pinion okay. yes sir is the pinion the long line type thing? In gear wheel is the pinion, rack is the bottom one. Okay, the gear, the, the circular one is called pinion. Okay, so and the rack is that uh, long uh, one, long yeah. gear. Yeah, Chirantan, we can hear you. You can ask any question. Okay. Well, where the longer the larger one is uh... your voice is breaking you can chat you can type in the chat window upwards the beginning of the page yeah so okay. then you can see that there is a, a bevel gear you are, you are seeing that that is uh, actually not per perfectly cylindrical this is used in uh, differential. If you have seen at the bottom, in, in, if you just uh, peep into the bottom portion of any car or a bus, there is a, a round bulge thing between the wheels, rear wheels or front wheels. That's called differential. Don't worry about it again. So this is used in that. So that's, that, that, yeah, that does, uh, actually very interesting uh, functionality just uh, i will sir, tell you what sir, the difference sir, but how does it work i have doubt yeah if you google i'm sure there are a lot of uh, videos otherwise i will search and send it to you i will tell you the functionality when you are turning uh, making a right turn or a left turn in a car especially in the four wheelers then inner wheel will rotate lesser than the outer wheel yeah. then if you don't have differential what happens either it will skid or if it is too loaded then the the shaft will break because inner outer wheel wants to rotate more whereas inner wheel doesn't allow it because of again yeah. physics then what happens this differential does very interesting thing it will reduce the number of rotations of the inner wheel, but it will increase by the same amount the speed of the outer wheel. So, uses, so basically, it will apply less power to the inner wheel and more power to the outer wheel. It uses the same power which is saved in inner wheel and gives it to the upper uh, outer wheel. Yes, sir. So this is one advantage. Another advantage, when uh, you would have seen some trucks with uh, multiple axles. Yes, sir. There will be so, so there is a differential on one each axle. Yeah. So there, the, the, the one is the advantage. Another is disadvantage when it uh, goes up the hump. When the first axle climbs the hump. Okay. Yes. Then what happens? Then then the second one will be in air. Okay. So they are another yes, interesting sir. mechanism. They will anyway. I probably I will share it in the WhatsApp some animations. So that yeah. Can you give an example of something where the bevel gear is used? Bevel gear is used in differential. 
differential is used in all cars and all lorries uh, any or buses sir the 4x4s uh, sir normal car not 4x4 exactly. also even, even regular two two wheel the rear wheel or front wheel drive also it is used so mostly in vehicles tanuj let me answer anisha's question so anisha to answer your question uh, the the day to day common very common example is uh, the differential which is used in all four wheelers okay sir even in auto rickshaw it will be used because there the it is uh, the, the the rear wheel which it gets uh, driven okay when, when two wheels are being used to drive the the challenge comes when you negotiate a turn when you turn left or right or going around then the problem is if they are also being driven by power by the engine then you need a differential okay sir Sir, but I have not seen a hump uh, underneath my car. I have tried to locate it, but sir, is there a difference in my car as well? Since there is no hump, in, in all cars will have it. In one way or another. Yeah, even auto rickshaw will have it. Sir, auto rickshaws I have seen that. You know, the rickshaw is small and the hump is so big. Okay. So enough of gears, right? It's boring. Otherwise, it will get boring. Sir, it's not boring. It's so interesting. We want. It's not know. boring, sir. Sir, only half an hour. That's not fair. Okay, I have another gear in my hand. Let me just show you what it is. So this, even though it it looks like a gear, but it is just a ratchet. But let's look at inside this. This is a, a coffee grinder, by the way. Uh, if I turn. <laughs> I have a handle on the top. If I turn this, it will grind. And it's a handheld grinder. There is no machine here. Now look at how efficiently they are using it. Okay. So even though it is not really a gear, but you can see how this works. Okay. It, there are teeth inside this, and there's a teeth inside this as well. Let me show you. And there's a teeth inside this as well. Okay, and since it is uh, conical in shape, you can see the shape. It's a cone, right? Yes, sir. So then it gets fed. Okay, then depending on you can actually control how much gap between uh, these two. This is also used in uh, flour mills. You would have seen flour mills where they make powder out of uh, uh, wheat or ragi or even chilies. Yes, sir. that's how it works. So it, it, they pass between two wheels which are very close to each other, which has tooth. Okay, here since it, they are conical in shape, when I just uh, make this and when I turn this, it is each uh, the bow one is stationary, the top one, the bottom one is uh, rotating. So when it is rotating, then it uh, because of the cone, it gets fed itself automatically that means it cannot escape the seeds cannot escape it, it will be pushed and it will also grind okay but here again here it, it depends on the strength of my hand right then if i need to amplify this then now of course i have to use gears otherwise then i cannot make it too smooth powder if i want to increase the the torque, then I need to go for gears. Yeah, Tanu, do you have a question? Uh, sir, uh, I had a little doubt. Sir, is the transmission at the is the transmission also at the bottom of the car? Car, if, if transmission usually cars will have uh, most of the cars this, uh, the the sedans and uh, the hatchback the small ones will have the front wheel drive sir in fact mostly cars even suvs nowadays have front wheel drive suvs so, usually have rear wheel drive okay also it, then nowadays it's quite common to have a four wheel drive on it yes sir. If you have a four wheel drive that means differential has to be then the differential has to be there for the all the both axles front and 
So then the transmission will be in the center. No, transmission, you're getting confused. There's a transmission happens through the engine, right? The, the, the differential is not used for, even though it's used for transmitting the power, but differential's main purpose is to ensure for you to negotiate a curve. Sir, uh, I also had one more doubt. Sir, mm -hmm. why uh, why does the RPM increase when uh, we change from higher gear into a lower gear? No, RPM, now engine, engine is always running at very high speed. Yes, sir. Can you guess uh, approximate what is the RPM? RPM, all of if those, those of you who are not so aware. It's 1000 RPM when it's idle. The revolutions per minute is RPM. So and this yes, RPM sir. also varies from engine to engine. Okay. For petrol engine, it's different and diesel and depends. Okay. So like the highest for a petrol might be 8,000 and for a Don't diesel might be the, the highest. Yeah, it, it is in the upwards of 1,000 or 2,000. For example, race cars will have much higher. Uh, so, 10, ah. so now, now let's say assume it is rotating at 2,000 uh, revolutions per minute. 2,000 yes, times, sir. that means it is going to turn in, in one, one minute. In a minute. Ah, that's very high, right? And yes, if you suddenly, your wheels also start running at uh, the same speed, 2000, yes, then go very fast. Yes, sir. But the problem is it, it won't even start. As soon as you do that, engine will stop. Because yes, your wheels are at zero, from zero to 2000 with gravity, with friction, with efficiency, a lot of thing, load, everything put together, it takes time right it, it gradually picks up the speed but engine cannot gradually pick up the speed okay engine has to run at the constant speed then the only thing which you can control is you have to reduce the speed the only way you can reduce the speed is using gears again gears cannot be always engaged there is something called clutch in between you don't worry about it for now assume that there is a gear. Now let's assume first gear. In first gear, the lot of reduction happens. That means from 2000, it will come to let's say 100 RPM. Okay. In second gear, reduction will be slightly bigger, maybe 500 RPM. In fifth gear, it will be one is to one. That means it will be 2000, most probably. Okay. That's how it, it, it works. So, Tanuj, uh, did I answer your question now? Yes, sir. So, like uh, in fifth gear, it will take, uh, let's say we have to reach 50 kph. It will take a lot. It will take more time to reach uh, 50 kph. In Shirantan, uh, do you have any question? Sir, sir, sir can, you can you we can just reduction. Use a gear for speed reduction. Can we do it op opposite to increase the speed? Yes, we can do. For example, uh, let me just bring up that image where we increase the speed. I had shared this image link. Let me bring that up again. So, where is that? Uh, Chirantan, have you seen this at home? Chirantan is the Majge Kade Kupi of Sarai. Chirantan, are you able to see this? Okay, Chirantan, I, I assume you are able to hear me. Yeah, don't worry. So, Chirantan, in this case, uh, we use this to increase the speed. Okay. So, there are a lot of such things. For example, in centrifuge, I don't know how many of you have seen centrifuge. Let me bring up centrifuge now. How centrifuge.
sorry for that. I just uh, I left it. So now let me show you what is centrifuge. When a liquid, for this we need mixture in the test tubes and also place Okay, I'm going to show you a centrifuge where, uh, again, speed is increased very, very to a very large extent. Okay. Now, this is a handheld centrifuge. I'm not going to explain what is centrifuge for now, but just have a look at this. Stop rotating. Stop let me start from the beginning uh, it, it, in the beginning it's like this then you can see so here it uses the same principle which we just saw in that uh, buttermilk beating device whereas here the application is different so chirantan uh, did you understood if you cannot yes sir okay so and do you have any other question on gears we have spent 45 minutes on gears now no sir okay yeah please watch the link i had shared on gears so it's there are a lot of interesting mechanisms which are used in in in, in, the, in the day to day life today so our clock even though it's a quartz clock finally it uses gears Okay, so unless it's a digital clock, digital clock doesn't need any gears because there are no moving parts there. It's only mm -hmm. display. Then, of course, vehicle has a gearbox is very interesting mechanism, how the gearbox works. I can share some details, simple videos on how you can learn about gears. Okay, now let's switch the topic. Enough of uh, gears. What topic should we should we now next focus on anisha has done some interesting anisha is she around yeah anisha yes sir can you show us the android app you have created oh uh, yes sir uh can everyone see my screen i can see it i, I will make it question yes. answer i will ask you question you will answer why did you uh, what uh, platform did you use to create this android app i used android studio android studio okay yes so the, for the people who are seeing uh, hearing about android studio for the first time android studio is an advanced platform used to create any android app for example you can even create an, an app for your android phone but this is an iphone uh, but on android phones if you want to create any app which you see all the fancy ones you can create any of those fancy ones let me bring up yeah any of these apps technically you can create on android app as well so it is quite advanced so i'm surprised at six standard uh, you have started using the android app android studio did you try code.org first or did you directly get on to android studio no i started with code.org mm -hmm. So what did you, what's the difference between code.org and Android Studio? Well, code.org only had block-based programming, which you just had to drag and drop. Mm -hmm. drop. And here, Android Studio, the difference is that Android Studio, you have to type every single word. Wonderful. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure somebody would have guided you. So now let's open, uh, see your Android Studio. Just open your Android Studio. Right now, it's still loading the activity bar. Yeah, what, what does it do? This app just has an image. This code, and is, 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 is which, which language is this code? This is Java. Java, okay. That's nice. 
I mean, in Android Studio, you can use Kotlin as well. Except I already had experience with Java, so I just made it with Java. Okay, very nice. How long it took you to learn Java? It took me one year. One year, is it? Okay. okay. I mean, it took me three years, uh, three months to learn it, except it took me one year to fully understand it. Okay, that means you started learning in fifth standard, is it? Yes, sir. I started code.org in fourth when COVID. Okay, okay. That's and cool. in, in fifth, I started Java. Now, what what is the uh, what what app is this you have coded in uh, Android Studio? Yeah, just a minute. So, uh, since the design isn't uh, opened, I'll just show you from the code. No, we don't want to get into the code because I don't understand Java. Okay. I'll explain it too. It's fine. Hold on. No, it will take time. No. So, okay. do you have any picture which will show you uh, the the design of your final app? Uh, yeah, I can turn on my camera and show you the actual app from my dad's phone because it's installed on there. Or you can do. Do you have any simulator here on Android Studio which you can preview? No, I did use BlueStacks except that it, that gives some error with this uh, this connection. No. Uh, hold on. Before you did the app, uh, did you do any design of the how it look should look on a PowerPoint or some other app? Uh, no, sir. My dad just gave me an idea how how the app is supposed to be, hmm. and then he just told me to make it. Okay, okay. Yeah, just show the app uh, if you can. Yeah, just a minute. Sorry, right back. Okay. So yeah, while she uh, brings it. Uh, brings up the app what was what caught my attention was she not only learned anybody can learn how to create a hello world app right or a game instead of going that direction she, she what she has done is she has created an app she understood the need first basically how uh, uh, she has created let, let her explain what the app does so she has uh, uh, identified a real life use case how the technology can be used in one of the day-to-day -day needs that's what she has coded anisha you're muted yes i'll just unblock my camera Yes. Yeah, show us your camera now. One second, let's spin. Those of you who are seeing Anisha's video, just spin it so that it becomes full screen. Yes, we can see. It might have a reflection of the glass. See this? Yes, we can see it. Yeah. It's too bright. No, no. Yeah, no? this is okay. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. Now you can explain what the what does this do? We we saw that. What does we I see a, a click and this zero. What yeah. does click do and That's what does zero do? So the zero is basically where the number will show up. So if I click with the, my the click button, the mm -hmm. number just increases. Mm -hmm. And once I click reset, which is above the zero or mm -hmm. the number, mm -hmm. uh, it will just make the count back to zero wonderful so tell us where it is useful if i want to use it why how it is useful it's useful as in i made this app my dad one second can i just share my screen i can show you from my laptop now no just explain the use usage of this app how the, I, if i the want use to... this app is that you can like if you're telling a mantra while doing puja or if you're counting something Hmm. and you can't keep counting with your mouth because you might be saying something else hmm. then every time you say that word or sentence you can click the click button and the count increases so you keep track of how much you count very nice yeah for example if i want to chant mantra one not eight times as soon as i tell mantra once i can click once yes sir very nice similarly i can use it if i'm doing surya namaskara sometimes i forget the count 
So every yes. time I do it, I can click once. So does it come automatically or you have to do it manually? As of now, it is manual. It needs a click. It means somebody, something, somebody has some finger has to touch. Uh, so you could also add like uh, the detection that one mantra has finished, uh, so that you can. Uh, so when one mantra is finished, add one number to the count. Yeah, except that's a little advanced. Like. Hold on, Anisha. Yeah, yeah, that is too complicated for us. Anuj, if Anisha shares the code, can you do that enhancement? I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's how you it should be the spirit, no? Because she has learned for more than a year now, right? Yes. One is, it's easy to give suggestion. Another is, let's learn from her experience because she can clarify any doubts when you are going through this journey now look at it it is not that you can just take it and start modifying it first of all you have to also learn java right. Right. That, that, that's also very important yeah that's one of the hardest languages when i was starting to learn it i didn't know it was really hard hmm. but somehow i kept like trying and i learned it i had classes from first hold on. I started Anisha, with... Anisha, Anisha, hold on. do you think speaking is easy no sir yeah we we learned speaking when we were children right when we were even yes. two months old three months old look at it it took me 50 years to learn to, to what i'm speaking today so in that yeah. way everything in life is difficult if you think it's so but you never thought even for a second speaking is difficult but you learned it how many languages you speak today i speak two yeah so you did not even think twice before you learned two languages and you are comfortable in both, be it English or be it your mother tongue. I English in my mother tongue, which is Hindi. Yeah, yeah, both English and Hindi. Now you are very comfortable and you never felt it difficult even for a day, right? No, sir. Yeah, you enjoyed the journey. That's how it should be. Whether it's Java or Python, if the purpose is clear, nothing is difficult yes sir so do you think some people will become experts no why swiss watchmakers are experts do you think they they struggle they whine they cry no sir they love what they do and they are best in what they do right same yes. as with any painters right as sculptors right I, i'm not sure how many which which is the famous sculpture you have you would have seen you have seen any statue which you remember uh, statue of liberty statue of liberty is not uh, sculpted it is cast sir i'm no painter no i'm just i want you to recall a sculpture Sculpt, i i because i see sculpt sculpture is a very difficult thing we have a hammer and a chisel you make a beautiful statue out of it no anisha uh, do you remember any temple or any god statue which you which you mm, no not really sir i'm sure you would have seen ganapati statue somewhere no yes sir which is uh, has been sculpted on stone sir actually i also face the same problems uh, earlier i used to cry a lot like are yaar i forgot this i forgot yeah, this point is not that the point is uh, anyway in karnataka i'm sure uh, Anisha, you are in Bangalore. If you uh, roam around in any tourist place, uh, it's very easy to find it, statues. Be oh, it, wow. it Bulls, be it Ganapati statue, be it Gomateshara, be it Belur Halebid, you would have seen, heard. So, how did the, those uh, sculptors did it so beautifully, even though it takes so much of effort, right? One wrong, one wrong hit in, in a hammer will take away all their effort. But even then, they don't lose their heart. Well, they kept trying, no matter how many times they failed making it. And at one point of time, they actually made it really nice. True. The same way you also did it. You also didn't lose your patience when your program did not compile, right? Yes, sir. Tried, you tried, you tried. Finally, you made it a success. You did not go first time. Yes, sir actually for this program as well it took me like i had to try like three times 
because I I I kept making an error in the mis uh, error in the code. Yeah. Anyway, that's good that you made it in three times. So it doesn't. So it's not so easy in life. For example, if I start today, I'm sure I will take ten times or twenty times. So if you don't know, you don't know. That's it. But it's always a first day for each one of us to start learning. Okay, now quickly you uh, walk us through the structure of the code so that in case if we have to start uh, write an app, for example, I need an app for my Surya Namaskar. Probably I will add a voice detection into it. When I say one, then it should increment the count by one or two. Yeah, so oh. except even that's a little advanced even for me because I'm uh, like there's never that you're perfect at anything unless you keep trying and even i know i'm not perfect yet because i know there's a lot of things i still have to learn wonderful who who taught you this is it your teacher or is it your parents uh my teacher i had classes before this okay nice no no, no. The, the the statement which you made we will never be perfect okay so okay so that's nice yeah show us the code now Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, can we just use the volume buttons and uh, rumble packs too? Yes, that's what you have to take it and uh, enhance it, Chirantan. Anything is possible. You have to just imagine and start doing it. So, uh, what does this public class mean, uh, Anisha? Yes, sir. Public class main is our main method in which I uh, the main code is written. So that, yeah, it's just where the main code is written. Okay. Then, yeah, just uh, tell us the different blocks. That's good enough because none of us know the uh, syntax, so we will not be able to understand. Yes, yeah, sir. So first, I have declared a button in the text view in which the button i've named i've named two buttons in one actually you can create two separate but that takes too many lines so i've named a button i've created two buttons one with the name c and one with the name r and i've named i created a text view with the name z and these are all referred to the design like c is uh, the c means click the r means reset and the uh, z means zero well, the code doesn't know that, but I do. Then I've declared an integer. So an integer is basically a number. I think everyone's gone through it in math. Yeah. Yeah, it was the first chapter in maths in I this class. Answer. Yeah, let's yeah. Wait, wait until she finishes uh, our explanation. So int is basically the integer, which I've named count, which is going to be used for increasing the count in my app uh, in my app so and i've declared it as zero for now then this stuff is all inbuilt code like protected void on create so even i don't know what most of it means i'm still trying to learn it like if i search on google they gave me such complicated answers so i try to find different ways to find the correct answer which makes it easier for me to understand so i'll just go through what is important right now now it yeah so now i come back to the c my click and what i mean by find view by id r dot id dot click means that find view by id as in find my id wherever it is in my app find my id and r as in resources so in the resources its id is click so here if i go to click i've named it click its id i've named here click and the same thing i've done with my z and r so i've just done z find view by id r dot id dot zero and r r is equal to find view by id r dot id dot reset now here comes actually the main part of the code which increases and decreases the value so when i go to see it says set on click listener view a new view dot on click listener so this means that the on click listener that means every time they click this click button that means it should listen to its click 
and that's what it is then here public void again we created a method so a method is basically a, a, a function which is a block of code which you name which you name something and it could be used for multiple time it could be used multiple times instead of you writing the whole code again and again now that's now i've named my public void on click that means every time i click then i've done count plus plus so that what what my count was that my count was that it was on zero before when i declared it int count is equal to zero so after that I made the count is uh, I made the count plus plus that means plus plus in Java means that it should add add once. So every time it's click it added once it adds once. And Z which is where the zero is it should do set a uh, set in set text. So it should set the text integer to string count. So that means that the integer that will be uh, there after we click the can't click but we click the can't click button it should convert it to string so that it could actually show up and then we have this here our r dot set on click listener which is our reset button then so here inside the thing inside the uh, method we've done the same exact thing we've made a uh, we made a method uh, which is also named on click because it makes more sense because every time it clicks something should happen so it is now java is actually case sensitive which means that if you write all o in this on click capital and o in this on click lowercase then these are actually two different uh, these are two different values and two different names so here now count is equal to zero that means every time i click reset my count should go back to zero and not decrease one or two so that's why in my app i've made my click button bigger than my reset button because someone can accidentally click the reset button without knowing and then they'll have to start everything over again so no one would like that and then we've done z where the zero is written set text in double quotes i've written zero double quotes is a sign that we're making a string or we're writing some text so I've written zero here. That means every time I click reset, the count should go back to zero. So that's actually my whole code. And wonderful. Let's all give a big hand. Excellent work, uh, Hanisha. Thank you, sir. So yeah, it you are uh, really inspiring that you are also giving us confidence that we can also learn. That's important. You, so, a couple of suggestions. Uh, you you had named the variables as C, Z, and R. Yes, sir. If you suddenly see Z, what does it convey? If I suddenly see Z in my program or in someone else's program? In your program. Then it will be conveyed to zero for me according to my understanding. Yeah, yeah. But instead, if, anyway, you also have an option to give a yeah, name, no? yeah I, I could have done better by writing the full name so, so yeah, nowadays it, the id ids that's the interactive development environment uh, allows you as a pop-up means as a pull down as a menu even though yeah. you give lengthy names however lengthy even if it is 256 characters uh, you, you can just uh, choose it you do not have to remember and type every time so yeah, that's it, it, 256 or 250 characters is also a lot so i don't think who in the world would make such a big lengthy name like what I mean is, uh, yeah use meaningful names uh, that's one yeah. so i, I could have written instead of c i could have written click instead of r i could have written reset and instead of z i could have written like number of counts I could have write. I could have written. Or yeah, that's fine. Uh, anyway, this, this you wanted to do it fast. You uh, use the shortcut. Yes. Sir. When you start doing many things, then you yourself will get overwhelmed because then, or uh, if you want to now want to enhance it, so let's say you want to add uh, 
Yes, sir. Uh, like as uh, Chirantan said, we want to also integrate with button clicks, right? Volume buttons or voice interface, or you want to give Siri or uh, okay Google, right? Chat yes, interface. So, so all those options are there. So then uh, yeah, a lot of other things will come in. So it will help uh, if you uh, one is uh, the naming conventions. Another is uh, yes, uh, you probably you went you skipped a couple of steps when you started uh, coding on and uh, studio directly one is uh, to know about uh, the object oriented coding standards yes sir abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and one more is that yeah don't worry about the 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 buzzwords it's about uh, learning the concept in that way code.org or scratch is a great uh, place to start yeah um, that's where, how, that's how where i think. started from ah so how no then you have to also have to understand how this block is working they basically they're not that they have skipped what you code you have written that public void etc in art override so there are a lot of that's things which you have coded but they have they have also coded not that it is some magic they have done but they have hidden that implementation from you yes sir so anyway uh, if you are interested, uh, uh, I can also guide you or I can get some of my friends to explain some of these object oriented concepts very interestingly. And so that it becomes uh, part of our daily life. In fact, um, uh, we are designed to think in, in, in as an object oriented way, whether, whether it's uh, whatever we do in real life. The so same thing we have to just transfer it to the code. Okay, so okay and uh, anyway you you are way ahead of us in terms of uh, your knowledge of syntax your knowledge uh, your interest so in that way it's very easy for you to pick it up yes sir. So, thanks for uh, showing us the possibilities so yeah it's all uh, each of each one of us will learn from each other yes sir. So i'm sure uh, be it uh, ganesh or chirantan they will also share what they have done in in their life uh, in their uh, in their world for example chirantan is building his own computer so probably in the next class chirantan will tell us how he is building his computer from scratch very interesting he has taken very step by step foundation approach i was really well, impressed with the doc, doc, uh, the diagrams which he had shared of all this uh, and gates and uh, r gates etc okay uh, that's impressive sir yeah similarly uh Ganesh is, is creating some games, very nice games. Then we have a couple of other students who have created uh, music. For example, Gauri also has done very impressive work. So then you can learn about how to create music so that we can have uh, our uh, program. I mean, basically, we can have a lot of fun while we are learning. So yes. now I will hand it over to our uh, good friend and our mentor, Mr. Krishnamurti, sir who is going to share a lot of fun things which you can do while learning mathematics, which we call Mathematics Show. Okay, sir. Okay, so I will let me hand it over to Krishnamurti, sir. Over to you, sir. You're not able to hear you, sir. Sir, you're muted. Okay, uh, I think after a long time we are meeting. Anyways, yes, uh, good afternoon to everybody. Yes, uh, Happy to know a lot of people started with case and uh, then programming concepts. I love Java. I was a Java trainer also. I was a Java certified man. <laughs> and uh, as, an, as far as an object, he was telling, you know, whatever you think, whatever you think or you, whatever you can see is an object always. So that's actually object oriented programming, whoops, concepts and all good things. And your method definition she has given in that also I enjoy. And apart from that, while he was talking about the gear, I was also interested Suddenly, uh, I wanted today about mass, uh, fun, of, fun of mass, but the start started with the uh, gear. And uh, luckily, I had a moment here, quads moment. So, okay. normally, nowadays, I'm just making uh, learning mass through mass clocks. So, that's one of the fun classes that I'm making. Uh, one can buy a moment, it will be costing around uh, 50 rupees or 60 rupees. We'll get this moment. I think uh, uh, it's visible. Afterwards, I'll. Uh, yeah, yeah, your, your, your video is visible, sir. Uh, video is visible. Apart from that, I will uh, allow my screen to be shared. Uh, there are the presentation is there where you can look into this. Anyway, I will take the mathematical part of this clock also in my 
this one. So I'll be sharing my screen also. I think my screen. Yeah, interestingly, when you're talking about the moment, uh, I was also surprised. Even when I walk around in the bookshops today, and mm -hmm. I, I can see they, you can easily buy it from the local bookshops. Yes, Actually, local bookshops are available, and and Bangalore it is actually with the clock movement and clock tile faces and everything. Again. So, so I made the children support from past uh, uh, three or four summer camps. Uh, I just made the people to make some clocks in their own and whatever thing that mathematical represent. Uh, so I was interested about the mathematical dials. So I think one of the dial I'm showing. Uh, I think you can visible whether it's visible. Anybody sir, can see this dial? To, is it yes, possible? Yes, sir. Sir? Now, actually, uh, huh? instead of switching between two windows, is it possible for you to uh, switch on the microphone in your uh, laptop where you are showing the presentation? Uh, if, uh, uh, if I switch on, I'll just, I'll just check it out because the uh, yeah, check it out so that here I when I'm, Otherwise, when I am recording only your video, will, your actual video will be recorded, not your presentation. No, I am not able to hear you now. Yeah, you can unmute that. Yes, yes. Oh, audible? Yes, it is audible now. It's audible. I think uh, my mobile is not having any problem with me. Both, both are visible. I can show my presentation as well as. No, in, in your mobile, you can mute the audio, even I'm, though your video I'm, can I'm, be on. In I'm your mobile. OK, OK. Now it's clear. There is no. Clear, sir? Yeah, it's, it's very clear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the interesting dial I have, I think. Can anybody identify this dial? This looks like only so odd number the hours of the hmm? What's interesting about this dial? That it's missing some numbers. Uh, so the needles and the numbers are missing. What kind of numbers? Okay. Yeah. So there should be 12 numbers. Sir, my microphone is disturbing. Yes, uh, we are hearing an echo. Sir, there is only five numbers. There should be uh, twelve mobile, numbers. No, uh, no, reduce the speaker volume of your uh, laptop. But whether I am audible. Yes, you are very much audible. Yes, sir. It's uh, like the voice is not that clear on my side. Whether it is now disturbing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an echo. What to do now? Sir, and there's background noise. I have to turn off the mobile. Okay, I'll just check it out. Uh, on my camera, I'll put on. Yeah, we don't need the mobile, no? Because we are able to see your uh, presentation. We can hear you from your laptop. So you no. don't need device. Yes, we can hear no, you. Too. Yes, we can hear you clearly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Visible also? Yes, visible? yes, sir. We are visible. So whenever I was just, whenever I want, I will take the mobile as well as the presentation today. Now, do you need the mobile at all? Because mobile, the problem is, uh, it will. Uh, have an echo. Now we are not able to hear you. I think there's an network issue on this side. Sir, you have to unmute yourself. We are not able to hear you. Okay, suddenly my desktop went. <laughs> okay. Problem, some problem. Anyway, I'll just check it out. No problem. problem. I think uh, we'll uh, go with the working solution. You can keep your mobile on. So your voice is very clear in your mobile. Okay, the thing is, I was talking about mass clocks. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Okay. yeah. So I was talking about mass clocks, and the clocks are, clocks are uh, best uh, to learn a lot of mathematics in yeah, uh, yeah. many ways. Uh, many ways. That's what actually my intentions are also. Uh, uh, if you give me one minute, I'll check it out whether my system also works out. So, by that time, I'll give one exercises. 
so all of you i just want to mention your uh, which standard you are studying immediately that will help you to learn more. sir seventh class one by one you can type in the chat window don't 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 talk just type in the chat window renu is sixth tanuj is seventh anisha is sixth gauri is tenth chirantan you are now in ninth or tenth please type okay yeah sir uh, the summary is uh, we have fifth standard to tenth standard Okay, fifth standard to tenth standard. My system started working. I think I, the voice is here better. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's huh? Yeah, that is better here. Yeah. Uh, just only screen screen share. I will do it. Yeah. Uh, the other part of the story is same. Just screen share, and I'll make that uh, screen. Okay, there are many presentation here. One uh, basically I want with the uh, clock and mathematics. So uh, today I want to talk about art of mathematics. Uh, uh, I think the screen is coming. Not yet. Yes. You have to give permission to share, sir. One second. Krishna Murthy. Yes, Krishna Murthy is there. And desktop. Yeah, try, please try now. No, not yet. Can't share your screen. It's coming. Yeah, I have made both the session as co-host, so you should be able to do it. Oh no! Any problem? You are uh, you are grant uh, you are you must grant permission in. I have to give grant permission. No. You must grant permission in order to screen it's coming there. But you are a co-host, so desktop portion, sir. I'm talking about the desktops. So probably it is the, your local uh, access. It, from Google Meet side, you you have full access now. Anyhow, uh, uh, anyhow, uh, my question is: all of you are uh, from sixth standard to eighth standard. I hope tenth, tenth standard. Tenth. Yeah, standard. tenth. Tenth. Okay. So you remember how many chapters are there in your education? How many chapters? Have you just gone through your textbooks, or you can just go through your NCERT textbooks or CBSE textbooks, and uh, in each chapter, what is the topic that you will learn? That's one of the question, fundamental question I'm asking you. So in order to learn math, basically, out of learning math, why why we fail in math is uh, because of uh, they say uh, we we are unable to. Distinguish the number, unable to distinguish the symbols, unable to distinguish the shapes, pattern, and building space. How do you build a space and other things? Okay. So my question is, how do you understand the whole chapter? Can it be uh, made a shapes in a clock? That's my question. Do you understand what I am talking about? It. Let's say first chapter. Anybody remembers your first chapter? Yes, sir. What is in chapter first chapter? You will learn. So, sir, it's so it's in teachers. Each of you can so, think sir. about it. And, percentage so let's say uh, let's say what percentage of percentage is 1 the question is important what percentage of percentage is 1 one can you get one from percentage or one indicating the percentage like that so you can always make one represented in percentages how do you represent one in percentage 100 by 100 100% is always one you know Hundred by hundred is one, is it not? Yes. This is percentage concept. As well as you can think of making one from hundred, one from percentage. Like second chapter, we may have some subject. We can make two from that subject. We can make three from from that subject. Four from from the third chapter. Five from that sixth chapter. Seven from some. 
this called abstracted thinking that's what actually object orienting thinking they call it as so also here i am talking about making one from a number so i have a hold a number here which is this number can you see this number yes sir two sir two i hold another number which is this number sir four four two. okay now the question is take your paper write on you in whatever fashion you can write these two numbers how many ways you can write this number using two numbers how do you write it basically the fraction whatever you want to do it good good, good thinking good thinking no all of you right now all of you right now and i'll show you whether you are written that or not take up to take two minutes by the time i'll just try to configure my uh, this one can you it's not coming just i all of you written all of you written no not yet sir yes sir yes sir how many ways you how many ways you are written the numbers tell me number number one i don't want anything like what you are written my my question is how many ways you have written that number seven seven ways okay you tell me one by one let me understand so all of you listen how do you how we has written about it 24 okay anybody has written like this 2 to the power of 4 or 4 to the power of 2 whether this has been learned by some of you Sir, four is. Huh? You got it. Forty-two, four point two. Everything you are written. Agree? Yes. Agree. So I am talking about two to the power of four or four to the power of two. So it's sitting uh, a number on its side is more important. Sitting a number on its side is more important. Yes, sir. Huh? Sitting a number on its side is more important. That's what actually I am talking about. It. I think now the screen is coming. Just I'll check it out. No, sir. No, can't. to share your screen same message sir i don't know notifications uh, sir uh, sir is there yes sir can i tell it there sir uh, what is the reason behind this uh, so i'm actually i'm getting my this one so i can see my desktop coming to you there also but my screen this uh, screen is actually krishnamurthy bs this one this one krishnamurthy bs sir i don't think you are audible to sir no not audible sir not you audible. are audible to us but i think sir can't hear you why 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 sir is not audible sir is not there okay anyway sir, uh, just he is there the my sir, question is not unmuted so uh, just check it out anyhow uh, i i may not be able to screen uh, next week we'll try it about it because it will take time If it takes time, I'll not, you'll not be able to understand. I'll show it in a paper. Okay. Now the question is about you can understand. Have you ever thought of putting that this called what is called as superscript and subscript? You know the superscript yes, and subscript. Okay. Yes, sir. What? Okay. Now one of you can search it out in Google. If you put inside instead of right side to the power, if you put to the left side, what it is called? Anybody? Anybody? You you know two to the power of four? Two into two into two four times written as two to the power of four? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must try. Okay. Now, what my question is? It has written to the right or left? Two to the power of four. What? How do you write? To the right superscript. Is it not? It will be always to the right. It will be yes, always sir. to the right. It it will be always to the right. My question is: If you write to the left on the top. what is it is called anybody can give a guess or will you tell in the next week or you want clue about it increase by the power of 
this is very interesting that's what actually math become magical like this so you whether you subscript also like that what is subscript putting on the down putting on the down yes sir. if you if you putting on the left down what it is called if you putting on the right down what it is called this is the interesting on the four part four blocks i can write the number like instead of writing 224 i can put on the top top left superscript top right superscript top bottom subscript top sorry bottom superscript so with a number on the top with a number on the bottom subscript on both sides and superscript on the both sides so now you got four kinds of writing this is a different way of thinking i think uh, have you heard of kind learning and uh, wicked learning a new kind of concept i am talking about out of learning mathematics i call it as kind learning and wicked learning Hmm? Okay, now you can go to internet and see videos about what is wicked learning and what is kind learning. Whatever you teach, whatever you learn in the class for that chapter, let's say ratio chapter, teacher will teach you what is ratio, how do you find out the ratio, how do you find out the percentage. All these things are okay. But while learning the percentage, if you learn other concepts together, other things comes to your mind, and whatever taught more than that one or less than that are different from that one, it becomes a wicked kind of learning. It's not a regular kind of learning. You will be learning more than what is actually taught, or you will be thinking in a different way. So there is a concept called in psychology called wicked learning, and wicked learning is a kind of art of learning lot of things together. Is it interesting your feeling? Yes, sir. So mathematics is a kind of wicked learning, not only kind learning. It's a kind of wicked learning. You learn a different way because that's why the same kind of concept that you learn in the first standard will be learned in a different way in second standard. third standard fourth standard fifth standard as you grow the learning differs because that learning is not the same it changes with your age it changes with your learning patterns it changes level wise it changes that's why people uh, immediately will not able to understand maths because of this kind of the learn there is always a kind of exponential learning maths and you have to learn you have to give a lot of attention to learn so mathematics looks at this kind of concepts that i am talking about it I was still unable to share my screen. I don't know what happened today. Okay, now just check it out. Sir, is there? Uh, you must grant permission in order to screen share. I should grant permission. Uh, there is a grant permission. Turn on the caption. Use. Sir, Kiran sir has to give you permission. Uh, all the meeting was has to give you permission to share the screen. No, here uh, the permission should be with me only. So that which? Yeah, I don't know. They're actually. So you're the meeting host. Say it's not working. No, the thing is, uh, I want to put. So what I'm holding, you know, numbers in wood. You know, the wood wood pieces of the numbers. So uh, uh, this can be a left side and right side while teaching. I can make it uh, to me. It's right. Uh, it is a mirror image that you will be seeing like that. If I see six, it will be look like a six. And what I'm saying is a mirror image of it. Is it not? Is it not? You get me that point? Yes. Hello. Sir. Okay. So always number. Uh, I want to explore your number. And uh, when you look at a clock, uh, my question is about this clock also. So look at this clock uh, because next week you will make numbers. So how many numbers are there in a clock? Twelve. 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 Okay. Uh, let me question. So once again, uh, uh, how many numbers are required to? required for the time whether it's 12 or something else two two numbers okay two digits you are talking about it so uh, normally i'm talking about if you are using 24 hour pattern you need 24 numbers not necessary 12 yes sir on to 12 but in a clock we make afternoon and and you know day time and afternoon so we'll make two times so am and pm what the am stands for uh, um anti meridian pm stands for Uh, post meridian but i am i am just i am a fun with math i am just a math math lover ganita priyanta what i say am is applied math pm means for me pure math <laughs> got my point what is pm applied math pure math pure math am means pure math applied math so you have applied math as well as pure math Okay, data. You can just split into two parts. Only one part is applied mass, one part is pure mass. Okay. The question is about look at the clock. I'm just opening, and this uh, this you can buy two or you can have a old 
quartz clock you can just open it out it now because my presentation had all these things or now you can see that what is this he was talked about the gears is it whether it's visible gear is visible whether the gear is visible whether the gear is visible sir now it's visible gear is visible is it clear so i can remove every part and show the gear and the movement and had the presentation if it uh, in between if i just able to do everything i can split up all assemble the disassemble the whole parts that this you can do it and look at each gears my question is which gear is used for which one this is the list you can make it now from next class you can will you do it even uh, you, you mean you may not need to open a clock or you can have an images which actually available in internet Sir, uh, if you bring it too close to the camera it is not focusing so keep it bit at least 3 4 inch away from the camera so that we can see it okay yeah now yeah. now it's slightly back take it yes. slightly back okay. yeah yeah now it now sir, it's now better it's... so now so uh, sir can you make you cannot make my presentation share that says uh, Uh, entire window. It says. No, now I see you uh, in the entire window, but even then, the it is going out of focus. If you bring it too close to the. Camera. No, no, I am talking about desktop, sir. I am talking about desktop. Uh, I cannot share my desktop. Yeah. Can I share my? Have, in uh, uh, both in both sessions, uh, you are the host. But I don't know why it's not taking. I in my. Uh, can you uh, try now? Can you try now? Uh, yeah, it was removed. Now I made you host. No, it's, again, it says you must grant permission to in order to screen share. Let's let's talk. It's the Krishna Murthy BS editor. Yeah, in both uh, I'm seeing you as a meeting host. Some I think some technical issues are there. Can't grant permission in order to screen share. You must grant permission. How how I can grant permission, sir? Where settings? Where in settings it comes, sir? Uh, uh, can you just uh, yeah? I I also have that issue. Can you just uh, uh, can you open this in a tab instead of a separate application? If you are using PPT, can you just make it as a PDF. PDF can be open in your browser. Then it is possible to share a tab. Even in my laptop, I have seen the issue. Google Meet is allowing me. For example, try sharing a tab. If it uh, allows you, then you have to bring whatever you want to show in your tab, tab of uh, your browser. So tab and just just try I, sharing I, a tab. Just just trying a share sharing a tab now. No. Does it allow you to share a tab? No, sir. It's not allowed. You, as soon as you click share, it it gives a message you you need. and uh, it says uh, uh, you must grant permission in order to screen share okay are you using mac by any chance mac? no desktop no no desktop only windows 10 version oh. it's it has come immediately some power problem power suddenly switched off ups oh. so suddenly switched oh. off it was a power problem which created a switch off the system uh, if possible you just check it out otherwise i will go ahead with this kind of things anyway it's not a problem Yeah, I will just remove and give it again. Let's see, both. Hold on. I think both screen is screen is visible. Yes, this is the screen which actually. Now, now I will I I remove the host access and going to grant again. See if it helps. Check now if it helps. No, can't share. It's I think visible there also for you. I'll show you that my screen. So it says uh, when. I think it's visible for you. No, no. In both, I am seeing your video only. Here, this, this, this one, this side, sir, right side. No, I cannot see anything. Oh, I am seeing only your video. In both, in both displays, only your video is seen. Okay. Uh, switching out the video will not turn. Can I switch out the camera? That doesn't solve the problem. any anyway, okay sir not a problem not an issue i'll take this as a challenge today to teach through this one. okay now the question is about uh, i'll put my video there off okay 
my, my voice is audible yes yes voice your voice and your video yeah. both are so, we can see so my, uh, my challenge is you people take this any clock any of the moment you can take it you know so the whole exercise is uh, now you can do it how many teeth are there how do you define actually a uh, my question is again you heard of uh, this one what is a gear can you define anyone gear whether gear consists of one wheel or two wheel whether two wheel gear consists of two wheels no gear should have two wheels or one wheel one wheel itself is whether it's called gear or a, what actually you can call it two wheels a minimum two wheel minimum two wheels so gear needs two wheels definitely agreed so definitely uh, uh, my question is like that so we are always nan kannada dal helta namge ganita kalisukodaga manalli uh, 32 alli udurs bidtini anta so i will remove your 32 so if they get angry they used to scold like us what they scold what what they used to scold just i will make you to all your 32 teeth will fall that's what actually kodathe tane can you can you hear can you understand some of you kannada the kannada dal idira ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ so they were teaching as well as they were scolding so my my parents my grand teachers they used to tell like that only so i just uh, when i hit you all 32 kids will fall that's what actually they meant to be did you get understanding what i'm saying so those days were interesting so they used to scold us with a mathematical language only math is a language it's like that only so my question is about look at this clock and i want to explore how how many in this wheel any anyway, what is the wheel used for minute what is the wheel used for hour what is the wheel used for seconds and how the pulses are carried and the wheel movement and how many teeth are there in each wheel in each wheel there is a small wheel and bigger wheel small wheel rotates how many rotation it takes in a second for a second how many rotations are required for a minute how many rotations are required for a, this one how many are required is more important and uh, you can also explore Uh, anybody has heard of long now clock sir can you repeat that long now l o n g long n o w long now no sir not not heard of about it so this is a very interesting thing so i had a very wonderful video about it about it it's a ten- so we can't hear you 10000 year clock not here not hearing so your voice, voice is not breaking voice is not coming it's breaking sir voice is not coming now just check it out 10000 year clock ah uh, yes sir huh yes yeah, coming now okay otherwise i'll put my another speaker one minute so it's other without that so 10000 year clock whether it's audible now yes sir sorry audible well without my earphone okay the question is about how do you understand 10000 year clock so 10000 year clock you can just get into the internet and look at this who are the in charges of these things most, most of the mathematicians scientists corporate sectors and many people are involved in long now clock i just go to internet and search it out where is this 10000 year clock is there can you francisco 10000 years clock or it's called long now clock l o n g long now clock same us ha huh? us us so who, who actually whether the clock is now you can say just see the clock then you uh, you today uh, you are uh, whatever we talked about the gears and the clock where the manually the whole clock is it's a uh, it is not actually digital clock it's not at all a digital clock it is it is yes, a mechanical clock it's mechanical clock how this mechanical clock is going to be built not actually actually i am talking about how they are going to be and who are the people are involved it's an interesting thing to go about it 
Hello, are you able to listen? Yes. yes sir. My question is same thing. Where do you find gears? So, for example, here is also one circle. So, how where where is the gear gear like thing? Teeth are there. For which for what purpose this is used? Anybody can tell? That. Uh... Whether it's visible? Wheel inside of wheel. Huh? For wheels, it is used. Wheels, motors, you will find these kind of things. So, first of all, you start counting the number of teeth in any wheel. In any wheel. Then, definitely, you will appreciate the whole concept of the whole concept in a wonderful way. So, my question is how many have returned that numbers is most important. So now you take this number, interestingly. So my question was about uh, what is this name? Can anybody come with a name? Let's say, uh, I'll just give a clue. It, the word comes with a word called hyper. What I said? Hyper. Hyper power. Hyper power. Hyper. You know hyper kid. Hyper kid, you know about it? Yes, sir. Hyper kid. So now... If, it, if you put to the right side, 4, four square is understandable. 2 to the power of 4 is also understandable. What is this? What is this? 4 on the left side, not on the right side. You will put, instead of right side, you put on the left side power. That will have some kind of concept called hyper. I want you to go through it uh, before next session. I just want to check with whether you can do those kind of concepts together and come back to me. Okay. Sir, is it two uh, Sir, is it four degrees by power two? Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, anybody can work for a minute. I'm talking about a power not to the right, not two square. I'm talking about four square. I'm talking about power on the left side. Okay, left and right. Left side of the power. Left power symbol should be on the left side. Power symbol should be on the left side. That's what actually I'm talking about it. So whether uh, if you are able to do it, just a minute, one minute. Uh, it's uh, hello. If it comes now, good. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. No. Anybody? What is this called as? Let's say you have two square. Two square written. How many times it is written? That's most my question is about. Uh, I think even now it's not possible to screen share. Okay, leave it. So the whole question is about the problem is it there with the internet? Anyway, uh, so my question was about take a clock, any clock, you can choose any kind of shapes. What are the shapes that you love? You just say square, rectangle, triangle, any shapes. So always don't think as a dial, as dial, as a circle one. Okay, the first question is you have to take a paper, write down the number 1 to 12. Will you write the number in 1 to 12? And what you can get back from, can you get 1 from 1? How do you get 1? Just you can write 1. Can you get Two from one. How do you write two? Get two. Getting two from one. How do you get? Magic. Do it. How do you get two from one? How can you get? One plus one. Hello. Sir, Anybody? Two minus. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, so two minus one. One. You should get two. Using only one, you should get three. You should only. You should use using only one. You should get four, but you should do some kind of mathematical operation. What are the operations that you will do to get two from one? So leave it. One is uh, seems to be very default. Take three and get one from three. How do you get one from three? Doing some so, operation, get one from three. Three minus two. Three minus two. two. Now you are using two numbers. I want use only three in order to get one. Mathematics. This is called wild thinking. This also can, I said, you know, it is not this is a wicked kind of thinking, get wicked kind of learning. So you divide three by three, what do you get? What do you get? So one. One, is it not? So that is easy to remember. So in one place, you can always write three by three. So now your, your clock consists of one. 
So cloth consists of uh, uh, like uh, here is I think whether it's visible. Whether it's visible? Yes. Sir, if you move it a little back, it would be more visible. Mathematical clock. No. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, I think uh, the lights are there, but it's not uh, visible because I had that presentation where actually you can wonderfully do it. So I'm using one, two, three in order to make each number. You can use each number to make other number. When you start learning this concept, making a number out of a number, it is an operation that you are learning with the playing with the numbers. You are playing with the numbers. Let's say if you want, uh, uh, assume that if you want to use one, two, three and make two from one, two, three, how do you get it? One a puzzle. One there is two, one three minus two. Or crux. Crux. It's a Canadian Mathematical Society magazine. You can just visit Crux C R U X Crux. Canadian ma so Crux is a ma monthly magazine that you can download it. And mass has been created like a puzzle there. So magically they create a puzzle. So I always uh, tell students to uh, first understand. Open coming, I'm in a Huh? So one plus three minus two. Okay, three minus two plus one. Okay, three minus two plus one, definitely two. Okay, so uh, let's say how do you make using one, two, three? Can you make four? Um, Yeah, sir, you can add all the numbers. Hmm. You can add, uh, uh, we can add all the numbers hmm. and then subtract it by two. Okay, only once if you have to use, if I make a rule. You can't use more than once. Then the condition comes. Then is the question that you have to use one, two, and three? So I'll tell you one square. What is one square? One, one. 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 Square of one. One to one the power square of two. Plus three. One to the power of two is one. Plus one. three. How much? Yes, sir. Four. So like this, you can look at the clock numbers and map on the numbers with whatever you want to learn. So first I'm telling you about only playing with numbers. Play with numbers. You know to make use one, use twos, use threes, use four, use five, use six. Each number only will be used in order to make each of these numbers take six using six i should make six using six i should make nine using six i should make 12 using six i should make i should not use any other number that's one kind of rule which you can do it apart from that i can use different numbers in order to make each number i can use fix only these numbers to make let's say if i uh, you know the binary you know the binaries you can also use binaries in order to make the numbers binary ditch Binary digit, do you know? Yes, sir. Zero and one. Binary is to represent all the 12 numbers. All the numbers. So this clock you can make. If the clock is available, the dial face is available, the hands are available, you can fix and fix either a small size or a big size clock. And the clock face can be made anything, not necessarily that one. You can also think of like words on clock. Let's say if you say one, what you, what you can think of one? What, what you can think of one? Tradition is some, somebody will think like that. So so we'll think one. So maybe if you think Ramana means ten heads, we'll have one heads. Man always have one. Human have one heads. You can think if you write man, it will be then if you write Ramana, then you'll have ten heads. So you can even image images you can put on the symbols like not only necessary thing. You can also use the words. What are the words? You can use your own language words in order to represent one. You can use your own languages in order to represent one, two, three, four, five. What actually the whole question of exploring mass through numbers through 1 to 12 of a day, 1 to 12 in a day, in a clock, how do you understand the day, the 12 hours, and these 12 hours can be represented with 12 numbers. These 12 numbers can be written in a different ways, different ways of representing, not necessary only with numbers. You can also think in terms of like squares, algebraic notations, symbolic notation, all those things. You can use only pi in order to write the pi clock. You can use E in order to write E clock. All these things can be done if you are really interested about bringing the numbers in there. So you can even think of wonderful kind of concepts.
so my question was about the sir was telling about the gears and how the gears are connected in the clock one part of the story one part of the story is inside clock there is a gears and this gear gears will make the hands to move minutes are this so there is a mathematical this gears which which actually tells the concept of ratios small gear to big gear small gear to big gear using companion mode it's coming i don't know tanu ji okay anyway uh, my screen is not visible uh, there the question is unable to do it today also okay so the first part is the understanding gears will help you to understand the concept called ratios is it not so your next class you should be able to tell me what is the ratio between a second clock and a minute clock and a minute clock as a minute hand to the so let's let me say which which runs faster a second runs faster or a minute runs faster hands second second, second. so it's like a uh, i know uh, there is always a rabbit and uh, tortoise game will be there between the minute and the second hand and the minute and the hour hand our hand runs behind our hand runs behind minute but they meet at a point in a very in a very rotation is it not in a very rotation one complete rotation both of them both of them meet at a point at what time they meet if you are able to predict if you if you are able to calculate properly your maths also will be good what i am saying you are understanding artha aagti jan heltirodu yes sir but how can we predict question is about let's say one let's say Sir, they meet at twelve. They meet at three fifteen. They meet at six thirty and nine forty. Actually, they will not be. They will not be at three fifteen. It will not be met. After fifteen, three fifteen, it will not be met. Exactly. After some time only, because the the minute runs behind the seconds, and the seconds runs behind the sorry uh, hour runs behind. If you only look at hours and minutes, you will know what is the angle taken. You will learn lot of angle differences. How much an hour. hand moves in a 5 minutes how much it moves how much it moves in 15 minutes how much it moves in 30 minutes how much it moves in 1 hour so what is the one unit how much it, so it it will have a five you know the there will be always five um, lines on the clock you know six it will be broken into 60 parts there will be five parts in 5 minutes is, is it not so where it meets the question is very interesting the question if you start it's an interesting to understand the movement apart from the movement the time at which the clock the both minutes and hands meet at different in 24 hours in 24 hours or in 12 hours how many times it meets can you say anybody in 12 hours both hands will sit on each other or it will be coincident how many times it will be 11 times Eleven times good because you already know it. I think you have worked on it. Ah, uh, I try, sir. You try. So just good. It's good. So similarly, you can always find at what time after three, after three, after four, after five, after six, after one. What time the both the clock and that is both hour and hour hand and minute and minutes. If you are able to calculate, you are putting your mass into it. That's one kind of mathematics where actually. will be helpful in your higher classes or any competitive exam that's one part of the story the other part is think in terms of the numbers to represent in terms of other concepts other concepts what i'm talking about can you only write each number in terms of squares can you write each numbers in terms of cubes this one concept did you understand what i'm saying artha arthi jana heltiruvantadu rasi na now square sal barebeku hege bariyakagutte can you think about it let's say if you want to write 2 how do you write in squares can you write in square two squares two square four okay so what square of a number okay in squares means let's say each number let's say root of 1 1 root of 4 2 like that i'm talking about can you write in squares yes sir that's the question can you write look easiest thing is you can write in cube roots you can write in square roots so root 
square root is easy to represent in numbers let's say 1 is square root of 1 2 is square root of 2 4 4 4 four square root of 4 is 2 you know yes yeah. so square root 2 4 9 9 9 ंगल Fit the nuts. It's available for sixty rupees. Sixty rupees. The whole set is available for sixty rupees. Or in Swapna book or other things, maybe one hundred and twenty. Or you can online. You can book it and bring it. All these things. Make your own clock with a face, and you can always change with the weeks or coming days or in every month. You can change the clock faces. But clock faces will teach you a lot of mathematics. The face should teach you the mathematics. That skill is like that only. So each of the chapter will, if you if it tells a concept like square root, I can bring back the square root concept on the clock. If it tells the logarithmic concept, I can have a logarithm clock. If it tells the ratio concept, I can have a ratio clock. Is it not wonderful to a chapter getting represented in a clock? Yes, sir. Oh, did you get what I am saying? And you can try to write it on a paper, or you can make a clock and show to me. Two things are possible. Or those who are good at scratch, they can use a scratch to. Make images, animation to change the numbers in the clock to represent the key idea. So, what is actually maths? The mathematics is to bring your ideas into a symbolic concepts. Maths is nothing but it makes your idea to represent through symbols. That's the maths. Maths is a language of universe. It helps you to bring your ideas in a very simple, symbolic form, an exact and real form. And that's why the maths becomes difficult only because. People are unable to represent through symbols. If you are able to say, "I can think symbolically," then you are talking or speaking in mathematics. Did you catch my point? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Symbols. Uh, and if you make your ideas, it's a representation of your idea in symbolic forms. So we uh -huh. make some clocks next week. Either like so, just you can see something. So what is actually in this clock? It is there. It's not clear, sir. I a pi pi number. Think that you can. Okay. Pi. Here, Just these three things are. It's time for the class to be over since then. Since Kiran sir has also left. Okay, clock in which? So now you look at this clock. Sir, it's eleven hundred square. <laughs> this is so this a trigonometry. It's in base two. Base two twelve is represented. Represented. You know, we just don't understand trigonometry. So there are different symbols representing each of. There is a gravitational symbol is there, g is there, and square root of four is there, and there are many concepts are put into a factorial concept is there, and approximation concepts are there. The clock is having a different kind of representation, is it not? So I can fix a moment here, the clock and hands, and I can have my own clock. i can have my own clock is it clear what i am saying yes okay so will you try for a clock either write written and you can get clock the clock images in the internet but the question is you writing your own class this this will have any any kind of thing so each chapter in your syllabus so let's say uh, which standard you are uh, tanuj so tanuj 7th standard cbse Seven standard CBSC. In seven standard CBSC, take your maths text. Is is it with you there now available? Yes, sir. Sir, I'll just get it. Just get it. Okay. Sir, uh, I'll try like that clock, sir. Okay. Tell me. Hello. Okay. He he bought his book. Everybody is observing. How many are there? Not yeah. feeling it. To learn different things. Okay. Wicked learning. I'm teaching you wicked learning. Not 
a kind of thing huh? so it's a kind of art of learning mathematics in a different way so now you don't have to go through each and every chapter i need the chapter heading what is the first chapter heading sir it's uh, uh, sir it's integers integer so i need one to be represented by an integer simply write one or any of the numbers 12 yes, i can integer to represent sir, 12 one or minus one is an integer no any anyway, i i can represent one of the number 1 to 12 can be an integer on my dial face okay next chapter uh sir fractions and decimals ha huh? fractions and decimals fractions and decimal now i should use a decimal format in order to represent a number let's say how do you do it the question is how do you do it let's say i have your 6.9 on bar can you see this one this yes, one sir. 3 into 3 the decimal representation so this is the second chapter second chapter talks about decimals but now 6.9 on the bar it actually it uh, it uh, actually what is the next nearest integer is 7 so the 6.9 on the put you bar it will be a 7 only 7 is represented like this in the clock is it clear yes sir we can represent the second number in what is the third chapter so data handling ha huh? data, data handling so whole, whole question is how do you represent data that's the one question how do you represent a data inside a number should represent a data how do you do it graph uh, sir uh, we make different types of graphs no idea is to put something in the bracket data is always in the bracket yes okay. sir think bracket inside some data put so you can put any number inside a bracket it always be- becomes like a matrix representation and data which is effect- so it becomes a data okay data you can call it as a data you can represent in one form so now you can have your own idea idea to represent a data in its form in the in the clock face that will be the third chapter next fourth chapter so simple equations simple equation now you should you, you should have equation in order to represent a number let's say i can say 4 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so then i can write this number or so like to represent 3 i can use 1 plus 2 to represent 2x square i can use x square plus x square okay any any of the number can be chosen to write an equation is it clear yes sir now the each chapter you can think of like this to make a number from that chapter sir. from the so now all the chapters have been fixed within the clock itself sir surprisingly it? we have a chapter related to what you are talking Exponential powers. Huh? Exponential powers. We do have exponential powers. You can do it. Then it may seem hard at first. I don't know how it will go. Now, now you just to pick up some kind of either geometrical shapes, if it is geometry, and you should be able to. So there is geometry. Uh, lines and angles, triangle and angles. Geometry can be used. From the chapter to represent a number in the clock. then yes, the whole question of understanding becomes simple is it not yes, and you you'll be representing at least i don't think so there will be 24 chapters in seventh standard uh so this is the chapters 15 chapters so you can I use for two chapters can be used to represent one or two so if if i don't get one chapter for representing i can choose other one so there are 15 chapters i can choose any 12 chapters to put the things into it yes sir so what about trigonometry No, trigonometry is easy you know what is sin sin 30 sin 60 you can always comes out of number you know 3 sin square 45 sin cos theta i don't know what this all is cos theta cos square i'm a seven star i'm a seven grader and we use to represent number 2 yes cos of 45 or my sister knows about it tan of 45 how much tan 45 i don't know uh, maybe Simply put, at the image one, two, three are represented. One, two, three. One side is one, two second side is two. Under diagonal is like hypotenuse is three. One, two, three. You can write it. One, two, three. Tan forty five two. That is two two four. That's called one one and root two. All the forty five can be represented by one one. Sides are one one. Hypotenuse is two. Put root two. Then you will note what is the tan. How to define the ratio of a tan? What is the ratio? How do you define those who know about tan ratio? What is the tan ratio of a tan? Sir, what can we do? Sir, there are only two tenth graders here. Okay. Now the question is about uh, you can always. I wanted to show that one in your computer. The easiest thing is take a in computer you go and put calc and run. Run command is there, you know? 
you know run command sir uh, what app should we open you have the run command where sir yes sir. run yes sir sir run app run or you can run command is there you know then you can use the calci c a l s c if you put calci calculator will come back i always prefer to people use calci a scientific calculation and other kind kind of calculations or which actually if the what screen is number, would have the one square, 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 square. oh my god so many squares Oh. Where's the Kelsey? Where's the Kelsey? Run. Go to run. Where? Run. You put C A L C. Calculator will pop up. Otherwise, you can choose the calculator. Oh, the largest number. All right. Let's find the square of the longest number. Nine 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 nine. It goes from. So now you explore that calci. There is actually option scientific. There are settings you can just check it out on the calculator. Sir, so it's and... C E C one uh one plus X on the computer. Oh. So on the calculator you will find many options. What are the options you can just check it out on the settings? Sir, it's... There is Sir, a left plus... button, like bar on which you have a standard calculator, then a scientific calculator. then you have what is called as graphics then you have completely various kind of currency converter length will you Sir, able to this is not the calculator oh standard scientific graphic programmer yeah. date calculation in currency yes. volume length concepts rate and mass temperature energy area speed time power data there's so much so each one you can click it out And understand a concept with only a minute. It's called exponent. This is what actually out of learning. You can learn mathematics with today's technology. If you are a technology savvy, in a minute you can learn. Instead of let's say I want to look into what is called as area. If I click the area, if you change the area, I'll get the what about the area concept specifically with this calculator. Then just go to run. Use the calculator to use. Let's say if I use volume, what I get back. So I'll get the volume concept there. So there also you have the options on each two win two actually two levels will be there first level and second level. This makes you to think to understand the math in a different way. And this kind of learning, what I am talking is what is called as wicked learning, not kind of. Is it clear? This is not actually learning together all concepts together at a time. It's a magical way of learning. But it whatever you require for your standard, you choose. I am not talking about. A ten standard doing a PUC or a degree, or a six standard doing the ten. Six standard student can choose six standard and take a number from this. They read chapter and first thing, representing that number in the dial face. Did I get? Did all of you who are participating get what I? None helped you. The mother go go talk to you. What I am saying, you are understanding. Yes. Mother go. Put your hands on to in the message box that all are all are understanding what I am saying. you can make your own clocks i'll show you how the student from different colleges schools came and we provided them the moment then we provided them a card and just a uh, just a, a tick cardboard and they asked them to make any shapes and anything like whatever the creative art they can put it on the clock and they represent they come with a very interesting thing not only understanding the numbers with their chapters with their levels of classes and their clocks was interesting and they put their clocks on their home And the clocks on their own will teach them lot, lot of things. So will you? Will one of you? At least one of you in the next class? Will you make your own clock? Yes, yes sir. Bring a moment. Fix the hands. If you want, I I would have shown how to fix the hands and other things. All these things I could have taught now, since the time is going to be up. So already your people have been uh, attending class from eleven o'clock more than two and a half hours classes. So I just wanted to explore because next class I will see that this network problem will not be there. Uh, access will not be there. Uh, problem. This problem will not sort out. I'll sort out with my other laptop. So the question is about understanding math is always to explore in in a various way. So one website. The website is Mathematical Society. It's called Crux. And you did you type Canadian Crux? Yes, I searched about it. Yeah, you are Advanced Mathematics Mathematical Club. Or you can do these things. So I'll just give you the Crux 
concepts there. The whole site like this. See our food trucks. The site is like this, so you can type out the site. Okay, https colon forward slash cms dot math dot ca cms Canadian Mathematical Society cms dot math dot ca Canada that publication that dash forward slash crux. Will you want to type it out or I'll send the link? Anyhow, that's called CMS Mass dot Crux. So can you explain? It's called Canadian Mathematical Society Crux. Okay. There's a Crux magazine comes every month. C R U X Crux. And this Crux magazine is free to download. It's free to download, and the issues are there from past so many years. Let's say from you, you can get the issues from past. I wanted to show because it is available from past. 1975, 12 issues per month, such per, per annum. So you can see the number of issues which has come there. And in each of the issue, you can download it and you will find mass an interesting way to understand mass. And this I am saying only, only because uh, those who want to attend Olympiad, any of you, any of you, are, any of you are interested to attend Olympiads? Yes. yes. Okay. The second part of the story, once you are able to understand, can you write, let's say, how many ways you can uh, write the numbers that's most important? This one is bringing maths on the table. So, uh, this, uh, I think, uh, this cube, you can make it on the paper. On the paper. Yes, sir, you can make it. Six pieces of paper and locking together. You should be, if you are able to make this cube, if you are able to make this cube, one part is this is definitely it is called. Uh, what we call it as modular origami. So using more than one square sheet. So what is the name of this cube? So making cube from square sheet. Modular origami. Simply just put it. Because the presentation. So is added. it a Rubik's cube? It's not a cube. Which actually you can make using paper. You can make a cube. The question is, I made this as a mathematical tool. After writing this, so it's easy. Take a square paper. Fold it up. Fold it up. Fold it up. Fold it up, you get 16 square. And just to fold it, it becomes a lockable origami like this. So it, you can lock it such that it becomes a cube. You, you yourself will try these things. Next week, I'll teach you how these things. The question is not about uh, this one. On this, you can write numbers. I'll come back to you. So on this, you can write numbers. Writing numbers is more important. Like you can see anything on this? Can you see? Yes, one. Hmm. One. Yes, one. One. One dot is there, number one is there. So for, I just represent the same number in four different ways. Using a dot, using a dot, using no. numerical symbol, Roman, Indian, Indian Indo Arabic, Roman symbol, we call it as Indo Arabic. Then O M one and also Kannada actually one two. So we, we are writing, and while writing, we are writing in a different ways, different symbolic representation. This is required first stage of understanding. Mass. Can I put my thought in a different way? So I can write as a dot can also represent one. Little form of one can also represent one, and the words also can represent one. Is it not? And even yes. there is a Roman letter I yes. representing one. The why while doing that one, if I just Fix the cube and how many types of cubes can be made is most important. So normally uh, there are six faces. I have a cube in my hand, a cubical uh, box in which I got dice. Can you see the dice? Yes. yes. So this die will have a, actually on the six faces, six numbers are written. Always I make, but this is an interesting thing to learn mass. How do you represent mass? is interesting and representation is also important this you say in engineering classes you will come across uh, combinations and permutations chapter in engineering at that time this plays a key role i have not one i have all the dice together in my hand see 
how many are there all these are inside, inside this box magical box and this is a toy of mathematics this is a toy of mathematics but this toy of mathematics will teach me lot of things so even in that box also have the in a gold dots i got the numbers representing numbers each way the question is about you can learn lot of mathematics this is two concepts which actually i am talking about numbers can be understood in a different way it is like a toy like things one clock other is a cube but not necessarily a cube we can make from the cube go to the next level what is the next kind of what is called as a, a what is a actually cube is what kind of mathematical object like gun polygon we say in two sided or plane and this what is, is a 3d three dimensional three dimensional what is the name given cube only cube after cube cube point the other things that you can remember and what actually the suffix word will come there suffix word will come there what kind of suffix not the gun not the gun can you search it and come back what are the let's say six phases seven phases eight phases nine phases ten phases twelve phases what suffix will be there huh there will be a suffix sir gun ha huh? gun is o n ha huh? sir g o n gun no gun is for only two dimension i am talking about three dimension you can even oh, look back to me hexahedron hedron definitely oh, Poly yes. hedron. Poly hedron. polyhedron so now you know what is actually how many hedrons are there what are the kinds of hedrons that you can talk like about like a, a 3d pentagon is known as a pentahedron no just check it out you come back hedrons so in each hedron now you can always not necessary on the six phases you can go for a seven phases put the numbers on each phases and explore and call with the number concepts so number concepts with that hedron will teach you not only the shape shape with the numbers together will be a creative concepts it's called uh, a kind of learning together sir a, a 3d a pentagon is known as a pentagonal prism no 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 just check it out it's not called pentagon hedron allah it's not pentagon hedron just check it out come back to sir, it sir i can't understand canada that's no, the problem you start with all the hedrons and list it out and come back to me I have the name for each of these kind of uh, in two side that's called a plane as well as in 3d so the whole question is understanding these kind of um concepts is more important for your level uh, you may go to the different concepts together but thinking of an object with the object one is shape the second is numerical concepts together will make you more creative in learning is it not interesting to learn together two concepts together or combined together embedded together it's called in programming embedded programming so like that two two the two together not only numbers with these things together makes more interesting to learn so individually instead of learning individual chapter we can put all the chapters in a concept and in what we call it as i think uh, people have heard of uh, one word uh, we call it uh, sorry it's not coming so we can um, i'll come back to it so the whole question of putting all in a page can you do it in a one page the whole uh, of mathematics of your class can be written in one page an abstract of each chapter so like if i can create let's say 12 chapters is there 12 square boxes or the in rectangle i can take rectangle i can make an a row of 3 into 5 4 into 6 how many chap chapters are there you tell told any one of you can tell how many chapters are there 15 15 let's say 15 can be thought as 3 into 5 one oh. of them or am i, I the only seventh grader here if it is 17 i can make let's say 4 into 4 16 one blank one blank chapter in index like that so i can always think like that a multiplication two numbers multiply together or you can have a 3d like that three numbers multiply together in a 3d object and all the chapters can be put as an abstract concepts headings can be put and it can be so we have 30 divided by two chapters 30 divided by two two chapters okay you can do it so you <laughs> it's 15 chapters so in between this what actually a, a kind of learning which is different from normal learning and uh, i wanted uh, to go to each chapter and learn one concept there let's say you start with uh, uh, you started with one chapter where actually it was called uh, it was called percentages what kind of problems that you face while doing percentages that's one question i'm asking anybody any children can come back to me what are the problem that you face while learning percentages any questions 
I'll end up with this question. So, percentage. All of you heard of percentages? Yes, sir. What do you mean by percentage? First question itself. By hundred. Per hundred percentage. Finding per hundred. So, whatever maybe two numbers are there. I want to compare two numbers in which the denominator should be always hundred. If you are able to say in hundred, then you are representing that number in percentage. Let's say office off. If I say off, can be written as the decimal. The two in the numerator denominator can be made as hundred by two into fifty. Fifty into one. That fifty by hundred. Then off is nothing but fifty percent. Off is always represented by fifty percent. Then one fourth will represent twenty five percent. One fourth will represent twenty five percent. And one by ten will represent. One by ten. One percent. One by ten will represent. One percent. One percent is it? One by ten. So you have to make denominator as hundred. Ten into ten hundred. Then numerator also equivalent fraction we call it as. Ten percent. Ten percent. So simply if you start mapping once you you work in mind like this, so standard percentage can be easily understood. Like one by ten, one by five, one by twenty, one by fifty. Like that, this can be easily made. Or of one fourth, one eighth. So these are the standard. But afterwards, other numbers can also be mapped down to the percentage easily. Once you understand, once it fixes here in your classes, it's easy. Uh, you'll be taking a lot of time to learn. But when you go to the higher classes, you have to do it in a minute. You have to do it in a second. You have to do it in a fraction of second. It should be done instantly. But if you start practicing now, the concept in a different way mentally. If you give the man, what I call it as mass gym. What I said, mass gym. Mass gym is do the gym for your brain. Use your brain or lose your brain. Always tell. So use. So what is actually a mass gym is to giving exercises to your mass brain. So simple exercises you give of your classes. Don't think too much. Make it very simple and put it like this. Then definitely mass become much more interesting. So you if you have to make a puzzle out of every concept. You can create puzzles. Uh, so I was interested about puzzles. So So no no presentation. So that that's why the more interesting you you explore mass, it will be become more interesting. So like I have the letters apart from letters, I have the letters here representing on the cube. So you can see here, bring back. What is this? Letter. So you I have the letters. Again, these letters definitely it has been written on the cube. Yes. Okay. Now the question is. Six faces, six letters can be written. Definitely, six faces. Six how letters. Faces? So in English, how many? How many are there? I, that's what actually I said. You can make that cube box, and instead of that one, each cube box can you can write the letters and small cube you can make it out and you can play it for it. So now I have, I have made ready-made blocks. These are so how many cubes are required required to represent English? Now tell me. Twenty-six. Uh, Twenty-six. How many cubes I needed then? Four. Five. Five. Okay. Four means four six are twenty-four. Five. Five cubes. Five cube is itself is enough to represent. But if you want letters with uh, repeated letters, then you should choose in such a way that some will have oval repeated, some will have consonants, and only few kind of combinations you can make. And making this kind of is a product, a mathematical product only. So this is nothing but world building blocks, is it not? But there is a math behind this world building. The maximum letter, which are the yes, letters sir. which actually in languages which are repeated, you whether x repeat many times, y repeats many times, z repeats, then what are the letters to be? In, if more than five cubes, if I got all these things, how why so many cubes are there? Means I can use my name to write my how many times my in my name the a is there, b is there, c is there, d is there. That makes Then that many kind of cubes I needed, and what is the minimum number of cubes? If you are doing all the stuff, that's the kind of mathematics learning they do for engineering. And for you, only just to learn how many minimum cubes are required to represent the letters and the cubes. How many letters? Similarly, what I am saying, a clock and a cube will make you to learn a lot. A clock and a cube, and you you can make paper cubes, and the paper cubes you can write letters, and the paper cubes you can write words. Then your learning is entirely different kind of play. So in order to learn math, you can play with math. That's what actually my intention is. Why all this? I'm showing learning math is to be learned like a play, playing games. 
so if you start understanding maths in that way every game can be made from every concept and behind every game there will be a kind of mathematics so i'll end up with that session so maths can be learned if you start playing every day so like a rubik's cube has 3 uh, by 3 has exactly 9 Uh, uh, exactly nine elements on each side. No, in the Ruby cube will have totally. If I just make it, it will be twenty-seven. Here itself, it is there. Twenty-seven. I just get it. Three is a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So I just count. I just get my cube and count it. If I just only cubes, if I just only think of cubes, there will be twenty-seven cubes in each row. Nine, 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 three. Sorry, class. So yes. Then you will try to make the clock. with the 12 chapter representation out of 15 chapters representing the number next week will sir, you do it sir actually we have done only two chapters till now okay sir, i did it so you have to try you you that's what actually sir, sir. i'll make a mystery i'll try to make a mystery clock and i'll show show it to you on sunday okay what actually i need a number from this chapter what idea will represent I'll, if i want 7 can i can the 7 can be obtained from this chapter can 8 can be obtained sir, from this chapter 9 can be 14 by 2 sir 14 by 2 Okay, whatever it may be, choose the chapter content of the chapter. What it actually mentions from that concept can be put into the clock. Is one question. But it asked. will be a secret. Yes, I won't tell anyone which chapter I have used. Definitely. Otherwise, it uh, will be making more interesting. That's my part of the story, and uh, I'll show you the clocks which has been made. I, I'll send the clocks which has been made by all the students which have been participating in the workshops, and okay. how they actually their math skills has been of another dimension, another level. So it's only behind numbers, behind small concept which I am bringing it together. Next week we will talk about uh, in a very clear way. This was uh, not a uh, even though I was not aware about look. Uh, I wanted to bring every kind of concept, and I want to look into what is hyper power. Hyper power. The second concept I brought to today table was kind learning and wicked learning. What I said. Sir. Sir, actually, it's time for the class. So can we leave? Hmm. That's the end of the class. Thank you for attending. So I'll end my session. Thank you for all, all of you to participate. Next week we'll meet with a different concept, different talk together. Thank you, sir. Also, the internet will not give me the problem of like this. <laughs> anyhow, this time also the net has given me the problem. Sorry. Anyhow, I think my class was a bit interesting, not too much interesting. Anyhow, all of you. Good afternoon. Sir, my feet are tired. Bye. Bye. Thank you. you. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Excuse Bye, sir. Me. Uh, Kiran, sir.